Hi, and welcome folks to Pastiche at Play. Here we are playing Zombie Armageddon. I've tried a couple of test runs on this game in an earlier build, but I have been sent a new build by the developer, and we are going to give it a good try. There's a lot more functionality actually applied into this one. What I was playing previously was a beta that was testing concepts and testing some of the tools, but now this should work as a much more playable game type. What it previously was, was a bit of a sandbox game that actually had um, no hit detection from the zombies, so it was really just in god mode for uh, people to check out. Of course, the login isn't actually up and running yet. It runs through a Facebook login if you want to log in with a profile, and it allows you to create a character that is either male or female. To be honest, the model doesn't show anything in the game, so you don't really see that. Let's jump into the store here, take a look. I can see we already have a thousand dollars to spend in game and we actually have a whole slew of options so what you can see here is your varied weapon types you've got your assault rifles shotgun ammo for the set of weapons health packs food water oh as well as the build functions that you have as well you can build turrets you can build doors you can build barriers essentially it gives you a good bit of defense for yourself imagine this is probably more for the multiplayer builds it's uh more likely that it's going to be for the multiplayer that it actually show it makes use of these um chest high walls because it doesn't seem to really box in the zombies that well because of the way they spawn in from the previous one but we'll find out more of course shortly Cool turrets. Looks good. Torrents? Turrets. Use the right word term. So of course you can see clicking on and off the audio. We still don't have audio uh, for gameplay, so it's not absolutely complete yet, but of course, this is a early access playthrough to test out. Ooh, okay. In previous builds there was only over two of the levels, arena day. So now we have a night and abandoned. So we should probably try all of these out. Well, because I've already tried Arena and Day in my previous video, I will come back to them and see how they look different, but I need to try it the new level type. So here in tonight, I'll jump into single player. Ooh, big sweeping view of the city. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same city level with a shader just to give it nighttime, so you get a mad tour through here. I mean, it's a very, it's a long tour, but it shows you the layout of the level. It's a nice big space to play within. I mean, let's see. Does it actually, is it going, I think this is going to go through all of them, but it does seem to be going through it fast as well. Whoa, that was the solar plant. Okay. And now I'm zooming down through, let's see if I can guess this. Is this the water processing plant next? Is it? I don't know. <laughs> So the way it works with uh, the gameplay is that you jump into the game and zombies will appear, spawn in. Yeah, it is water trip. Yes, I knew I was right. Um, zombies will spawn in and survivors will spawn in and the zombies will immediately attack the survivors. So what you need to do is actually clear the area of zombies, pick up your survivors and then take them to their appropriate buildings like the biomedical library, or laboratory, and the University of Congress, is it? Or <laughs> University of America? Um, the water treatment plant, essentially factories, engineers. You can tell by the, the skins the characters have which ones are more relevant to them. And I think it's actually a max of three to lo each location. Ah, please, that's right. So, right, I'm going to skip this. Jump straight to where I need to be. Oh, okay. Right, we spawned in a different spot than previously. Okay. So, what we have here is health meters, food meters, water, all there in the top right corner. They all obviously... Mm, okay, you just see people. Wow, oh, okay. And the zombie cops. So I'm actually seeing a little bit more variety already in the uh, player types. So yeah, got a survivor here. Let's bring this gentleman on home. Oh, there's a couple more of them. The bloody soldiers. Uh, okay. 
I've got a gang of three of these guys now. It's worthwhile grabbing all of them and taking them back to location. So there should be one in here. Aye. So the control feels fluid enough. The movement, yeah, the um, backpedal is a bit slow, so it's probably better for precise. You can backpedal away from your enemies, but zooming forward, you've got a lot faster run. <coughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of the lung butter right there. Okay, so our three guys are actually going over and settling themselves in. Way celebrate, guys. You survived. Yeah, now disappear. Well done. Okay, um, I suppose I really need to look for water because you can see, of course, that my water meter is going down. There is boxes on the map to find. Uh, they usually spawn in in locations like this for you to actually heal up and to grab the basic supplies you need. Go away, puppy. Did the puppy have a giant head? I don't even, could even tell. Yeah, get out of the way. Hey, you, hey, hey. leave that guy alone. Okay, so picked up a couple of guys. And there's another one there. Go, on, go. go away, zombie. Okay, so left or right, left or right. The gentleman shoots for us, we're going right. So hopefully I will find some ammo and drops along here because Obviously, I don't have infinite ammo anymore. God mode is not in effect, so this is now truly a zombie survival game. Uh, you can obviously look back and see these guys are running up to catch up with me, but I think they may have got hit by zombies. No, no, we're good. So the guys that are actually survivors, they're right. they seem to be move, they move, seem to move pretty fast and can keep up with you um, without getting trapped in by zombies behind you. So you can run a fair bit ahead, but it's more the fact that you just trail them along behind you for whatever distance you need to be until you get to the next spot. So, oh, there's another survivor. I can't take any more with me, though. So, um, I said, yeah, I'll just keep you healthy and move on. Zombie. Go away, zombie. Die. Okay, then you make a decision, left or right. Um, the gentleman always knows, so I'm following the gentleman. That, that's not a rule for the game or a tip for the game that's just me playing the way i'm playing so yeah there we go there is actually a location here so woo, the water treatment plant these guys should be able to get in here grand coming in yeah oh glitching over each other is that for the guys or yeah okay mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, well, you were right there as well, so I might as well bring you in. Oh, wait, another one. No! Okay, gents, bring you in here and keep you safe. So the water treatment plant, um, essentially places that people could survive. I mean, if you didn't think about it, it makes sense. Uh, places where you can find water supplies, energy supplies, that kind of thing. Oh god, another one. Damn these humans just keep getting themselves in trouble. Better off joining better, better off joining the Zeds. So yeah, I haven't spotted an item box yet and my water is nearly run out, so I'm gonna have to uh it's a sheeter, so I haven't really hit those objects right. Thought they might have been sent out for a reason. Uh yeah, I'm gonna need to actually jump in here. So what you need to do is jump into your inventory and, or well, store, I suppose is the best way to describe it. Oh yeah, of course, the uh, game does have microtransaction possibility with coin packs to actually upgrade. So I'm just gonna jump into inventory here. I need to find water, 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 water. So it's actually I have a thousand bucks. I'm just gonna buy two things of water. Yep, sweet. And use that one. So yep, water's all back up and healthy. Need to try and grab some food now as well. Food, food, food. Gotta get it eats. Gotta get some eats. Uh, 
That should be enough there. Just the one. So I only need to spend 50 bucks on it. So yeah, there's... Oh, yeah. Turrets and stuff. Hmm. Might grab one just to have. Since they're all $100, I'm just going to buy the top of the level quality one. So yeah, keep that in my hand for when I need it. Oh, shit. See, this is the problem with uh, games that just keep uh, playing without you. <laughs> You can easily get surrounded by the zombie horde. And I think the zombies can come into those safe zones if you're not directly in the circle, so not a good way to survive is going into your inventory for any period of time. So yeah, I'm grand for I grab my food in a wee bit. Oh. Oh, ah, uh, yeah. So <laughs> it might be helpful to get some bullets. Or I could just run around and try and survive without them. Uh yeah, let's grab a couple of those by Bye. Bye. That should solve the problem. Mm. I'll buy one of those before I run out of money, just in case. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh. Okay, we need to get out of here. Boom. Stay down. <laughs> Climbed up on the guy's back to <laughs> run up on his back and then shot him in the face. I am a classy gent. Let me stay down. Okay, so we're going to go to the hospital here, I suppose. Or is it the lab? Oh. Little creepy zombie girl. Uh, I need to go this way. Yay! Okay, let's see. Did we the right thing are these guys okay is this where they want to be i need to see the hands go up in the air guys yeah no in are you out huh okay so not the right place yeah that's i imagine the laboratory would have been right for the doctor or the researcher but i don't know apparently i'm wrong let's see just checking yeah, that's quick and quick access for the inventory. I was just checking keyboard commands because nice. Okay, so whenever you try to switch weapons, the um, there is three weapons available, pretty much: um, machine gun, pistol, shotgun. I think there's four actually all together now that we've got the different rifles. But um, the hitting the weapon changes, which is one, two, three, and four, but hitting those actually brings you back in here if you don't already have the weapon. So, I mean, I'm a bit short now. I don't have enough to buy these, so I'm going to have to go to the store. So, yeah, of course, because this is a test copy. And there we go. Bam. I'm sure these are placeholder prices and packs, but they do probably fine for me to show you all the weapons. Bam. Okay. So zombies back here. Let's do some weapons. Boom. Oh. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, they definitely go for the headshots. Okay. And then we have a short burst fire. Can actually be pretty good with this. Okay. Let's switch across to the next one. Oh, no. That's me just going into the options. There we go. So one and two switch your weapons. Three uh, goes into your store inventory, which is nice and quick. Um, I can imagine essentially me, instead of me hitting the pause the game, going, that gives it a little bit easier to upgrade your weapons or, or get yourself ammo or your needs with the in-game currency, which I imagine there must be some way that actually the in-game currency... Can be attained as well, of course, through the box. Oh no! Don't time that. Not whenever I'm in the middle of taking these guys out. There we go. So let's try the shotgun. The shotgun's gonna be probably. Oh, okay. And at least he goes down. Right. So the scatter shot of the shotgun isn't really. Uh, the shotgun doesn't reload fast or shoot fast enough to really kind of dive into these guys. Yeah, I really 
I don't understand the fascination with shotguns and zombies. Ooh, okay. Creepy knife wielding. Hit the check. Yep, okay. <clears throat> Hit detection's working. That was one thing I was concerned about because in the previous build, there was a god mode was essentially on. Right. Well, we have ours. Oh, crap. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Oh, God. <laughs> this is just the guys standing in the way of their own savior. All right. End up there dead. So I need to find another location. Essentially, you can, by seeing what I had, the, um, I seem to be attracting more of the zombies the more I shoot because of the different weapons, of course. You can't see any details on that. Okay, you can see my food and water is going down pretty low. So I'm going to let that actually run out and see what happens whenever it runs on that long. Anyway, we'll come back on the next video whenever our food and water has run out and I have taken these survivors onto another location. So thanks for watching with Pastiche at play. This has been Zombie Armageddon. There will be more on coming.